a preemptive strike against crime as we head into the holiday weekend. Chicago police and federal agents conduct a series of raids to get guns and drugs off the city streets. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli now joining us from Chicago's Area Central Police Station with more on the investigations. Good morning, Mike. Hi, and those raids were conducted by the FBI, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and of course the Chicago Police Department. And as of 4 o'clock this morning, they say they led to more than 70 arrests. Now, police released photos of the roundup, which began more than 24 hours ago, and the raids will continue through the rest of the day. So far, though, 71 people have been arrested, 13 guns have been seized, and two businesses have been shut down. Now, one was a daycare that police say was actually being used as a stash house for illegal weapons. Police say four guns were seized there, along with a large amount of ammunition. In the 900 block of West 31st Street, police shut down this business. So far, police haven't said exactly what led them to shutter this convenience store. But this neighbor, who didn't want to reveal her identity, was glad the police department took action. Well, I'm just happy that the police are taking actions because we want this neighborhood to be safe and continue to be safe. This has been a good neighborhood for us to be living in. So with the Memorial Day weekend kicking off, we wanted to send a strong and clear message that we just won't tolerate that kind of behavior. We cannot have our kids have their childhood stolen from them. As we think about the beginning of summer, it cannot be met with anxiety. It cannot be met with apprehension. It should be met with anticipation and exhilaration. The mayor and the city's top cop were here at the second district to celebrate the opening of the latest strategic decision support center. They also wanted to announce that 125 new probationary police officers are now hitting the streets. Also, 1,000 extra officers will be patrolling the city in the lead up to Memorial Day compared to a typical weekend in Chicago. And the Strategic Decision Support Centers are now up and running in more than half a dozen police districts. And according to officials and police, they say once these technology laden centers open up, they say typically they've seen year over year crime drop by more than 20%. Reporting live at 51st and Wentworth, Mike Puccinelli. CBS 2 News. Back to you.